Once a protein of interest, the EGFR in this example, is, is selected from search results, the user is taken to the protein page, which is the starting point for exploring a protein and all of its known PTM sites. By default, the human protein is displayed. However, a user may instead toggle to display one of the other species in which PTM sites have been curated. The top frame of the protein page displays a lollipop plot showing the position of all known PTMs on the protein. The horizontal axis represents the linear amino acid sequence of the protein, and the position of known protein domains as categorized in the PFAM database are displayed. Clicking on these domains will navigate to the PFAM database for more detailed information about each domain. The color of each dot represents the class of PTM. Hovering over a specific PTM site will, will show more detailed information about that site. For example, tyrosine 1092 is a phosphorylation site that's been observed in 360 high throughput or mass spectrometry references, and in 113 studies using low throughput LTP, or more traditional proteomic methods. We'll return to the mutation information in a moment. Clicking on this site will navigate to the site page for more detailed information about the site, all of its references, and detailed information curated from each reference. We won't go there right now. The vertical axis showing the number of references, by default, is scaled to both to show both high throughput and low throughput references. However, the scale can be changed to show only low throughput or only high throughput references. In addition, one can filter out sites that have been observed in five or fewer references. The scale can also be changed to a logarithmic scale to better compare the frequency of observation of sites with relatively small number of references. Cancer mutation data can also be seen on this plot. Clicking mutation frequency in cancer shows that two PTMs are altered by missense mutations found in the Cancer Genome Atlas data sets. In addition to mutations that alter PTM sites directly, you can display all mutations on this protein, introducing a new axis that shows the num number of tumor samples for each mutation. We can zoom in to get a better look at this using either the plus arrow and navigating using the sideways arrows, or by double clicking or dragging. We can zoom into the amino acid level to examine specific mutations and their effects on PTMs. We can also visualize mutations that are adjacent to modification sites and may, may alter or rewire the modification of these sites. We can Click zero to restore the zoom to the normal level. More detailed information about each PTM site and its sequence context and, and references can be found by going to the site table. That will be our next topic.